Hey guys, welcome to the All Right class. This is for Warriors, Fusion, and Impact students. Today we're going to be going through the four main stripes that are needed for testing, uh, with maybe some sprinkles and other stuff we'll work on. But you can expect to see the form today, work on some sparring or sparring skills, what we're really going to focus on. Uh, we're going to work on board breaking techniques, obviously we can't break boards, and perfecting the self-defense for both everybody and the black belt only version. Um, it should be a good day. Let's get started. Feet together, hands by your side, please. Facing the TV, can they bow? Academy tenants with me. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect. Can I bow? Good, man, Jimmy. Let's get started with five jumping jacks. Go for it. One, two, three, four, five. All right, from here we're gonna some neck rotations. Take that neck, spin it around. Other way. Okay, from here it's arm circles forward. And backwards. Across the body. Up and down. Get our body loose. Okay. Here it's legs out, just reaching over side to side. Reaching behind you. And then down low, toe to toe. Knees bent, hips side to side like Spider Man. Woo! I needed that one. All right, from here, super easy warm up. Uh, it's a bit of a mind twister. Um, we did it last week in class, and I thought, uh, I, I didn't teach an online class last week, so I want to make sure that um, you guys saw it. So what we are doing is we're going to try to make sure that we can do our form completely uh, <laughs> backwards. So we're going to start with just section one. Let's all just do section one because that's what everybody has. And we're going to start off in the last move. I have not the slightest idea how I can position myself to be easy for you guys to follow. So this is going to be something you think about. If you're not good with section one of the form, <laughs> this is not going to help you. If you've got section one down, it's not too bad. So for example, I'm going to start facing this direction. Is that where I'm going to Yeah. I'm going to start facing this direction, a little bit closer. From here, I have to unwind by doing my knee strike, put it back behind me. My knife hand's in front of me. Knife hand's in front of me. I step back, knife hand. Then I will go over to this side, punch, side kick or twist kick, uh, chop, low block. Over to this side, it goes out into a punch, into your side kick, chop, <laughs> low block, or hug, low block, even still hug, and back to your B. Um, if you finish up with me, great. Otherwise, keep finishing up real quick. That was just a little bit of a brain twister to get our minds working and thinking, why did we do that? Now that you have finished your form or you're about to, to me, do just section one. Did I miss a chop? That was just section one. All right, now that you've done your form backwards and forwards, I know, crazy. Go ahead and have a seat. Uh, we're gonna put both our legs straight out in front of us, reaching forward. Sorry, I had to see the camera screen. I wanna make sure I was still in it. I'm sure watching a old guy stretch is the most exciting thing. All right, 
Tail on one of your legs, let's toss it behind you while we focus both arms forward. Or to the inside. All right, go ahead and switch sides. Uh-oh. I'm not getting that. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my phone's ringing. All right, legs out into a big wide V. Hands behind your head, 10 side to side stretches. Go for it. All right, 10, sir. When you finish up, take your legs out even wider. Reach side to side, down the middle. Get your legs stretched out so you can kick high. Okay, bottoms of your feet together for the butterfly stretch. We shall begin. Start off sparring. Okay. Hey, everybody, please hop up. Well, let's check it all out. Five more jumping jacks. Go for it. One, two, three, four, five. I challenge you, pause your video, go put your sparring gear on. You're probably thinking, no, I don't want to do that. Put it on so when we get to testing, it's not a foreign concept if you've been online only. For a lot of you, you come to class every week, that's fine. Put your gear on, please. Pause. Play. All right. Your gear is on. I'm going to be sparring bad. You're sparring either a person. If you spar a person, you better have your gear on. Well, you're sparring a bag, or you're sparring in the direction of the television. If the television's where I am right here, you're aiming at me. Do not just spar wherever you want at any time, okay? That loses a lot of focus. You want to have a target. That's why things like bags and people are great to spar, all right? Because it has a, something to physically look at. If you don't do that, aim at the TV where I am because then you can aim it at me, all right? And if you have a huge, like, 50-inch TV, I'm almost life-size. Not really, but so. All right, on the bag. Starting off with a sparring seal. Today it's going to be side kick, side kick, spin around, side kick. This is required for white and yellow belt. That's fun to do for everybody else. Um, let's go ahead and start with that. What I want you to do is if you're an orange belt above, you're going to go side kick, side kick, spin, side kick. Add two moves of your choice right afterwards. You could add punches. You could add any hands and inks. You could add more kicks. You can have as much of it as you'd like. But add two more combo moves, okay? Again, the goal of the cycle is to be sparring students at testing. Um, we're still ironing out those details that'll be released this week. Um, but as for right now, everyone's getting side kick, side kick, spin, side kick. Let me show you. In that leading leg, side kick, side kick, spin, side kick. And then from here, as an orange belt, I would add something else to it, okay? All right, starting now. Go for it. Moving around for about a minute, we're gonna be sparring on our bags with me up here as my target or with a person. If you're doing a person back and forth, be careful as you guys start off with a side, side, spin, side. Keep going, please. Keep going through. Side, side, we're about halfway, or we're not even halfway. We're almost halfway. Keep going side, side, spin, side. Moving around, moving around. Ducking and dodging. Add on two moves. If you're an orange belt and higher. Black belts, you can work with some jumps and spins as well in there. Uh, black belts want to be awesome. Turn that spin side kick into a jump spin side kick. Go for it. A little goofy, but... And time. Awesome. Level two things a lot of fun. Um, because it's a realistic one. It gets you up close and personal, which can be scary in sparring because you always want to have that leg distance, but it's fun. So, pretending someone's kicking at us, we're going to pretend to block, chop, chop, take that nearest leg in, side kick, block, chop, chop, 
Side kick. If your owner's not above, add on two moves of your choice. You can cycle through all the ones you did earlier. Two new moves. I don't care. Change it every time. Uh, white and yellow belts, keep it with those. Ready? Oh. Ready, set, go. Low block, chop, chop, nearest leg, side kick. Low block, chop, chop, nearest leg, side kick. All right, moving around, use your distance. Aim at me at the TV if you need to, that's totally fine. Otherwise, have some fun. Here we're getting about a minute of this. Keep, keep it up for me. Um, I know a few of you guys are here every week at another time. Kane, hit that bag. Mr. Newbie, show me the moves. Should be all the newbies, but I don't know if you're all doing it like you're supposed to. I know Mr. Newbie is. I see his name consistently. All right, keep moving, please. Again, we're going low block. Chop, chop, side with that closest leg. And if you are orange belt above, you add on two moves, whatever you want, have some fun with it. I mean, make them make sense, but have some fun with it. All right, finish it up soon. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. And time, okay, so. For this third round, everybody gets to freestyle. White and yellow belts that are fusion and impact, I do have something for you, but everybody, including my white and yellow belt uh, warriors, that means you're in fourth grade and younger, uh, sometimes fifth grade, fourth grade and younger, you guys can do whatever you want. Orange belts and above, across all age groups, have a sparring match. Spar at me, every single move is up to you. Make sure you work on blocking, make sure you work on blocking and moving, all right? But your moves are your own. I'm not making you do anything. The only people that are gonna be listening to me when I say go, the only people that listen to me are white and yellow in the Fusion and Impact class. Otherwise, everybody, spar for stance and spar, white and yellow belts. You are doing block across your face, front kick, side kick, spin, crescent kick, land it behind you. Go for it. Everybody is still sparring. I did say go for everybody else. You should be already moving and grooving. You really should be listening to me right now. Otherwise, point and yellow belts, front kick, side kick, spin, crest kick. Notice that with that front kick, side kick, I did not put my leg on the ground until after the side kick. Otherwise, keep moving, everybody, please. Sparring, sparring, sparring. Next up is going to be forms. Use me as a target if you want to. Oh, 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 I can handle it. <laughs> keep going, please, keep going. We are about to finish up. White and yellow that's the front kick, side kick, uh, spin crest kick. Hey guys, if you're hearing that, you can steal those moves if you want to. They're not bad moves. Otherwise, you are doing whatever you want in the air. Remember, when we do these, like just one person sparring matches, you use a lot more energy than when you spar the person because there's, there's that time where you defend and you get to breathe. <laughs> That doesn't happen when you're by yourself. All right, and time. Very good job, everybody. Let's go ahead and take your gear off. Pause the video, gear comes off, play the video, and we're back at it, okay. If you did not put your gear on, dude, come on. You just made it awkward for yourself. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Let me get rid of this bag. For a little bit, we got room through our forms without being interrupted. Loud. Okay, forms. I'm gonna turn around. You guys are gonna watch some more. I also post the videos in the Facebook group. If you need access to those, please take advantage of it. I think they're also in your uh, Spark app. That is so weird when it, when it gets updated. Uh, I believe it's updated properly though. Otherwise, everybody, you guys need to you know, follow along with me as if I am teaching class and you're behind me. Um, remember, normally you have a mirror, so you have like all those angles to look at. We don't have that for right now, though, unfortunately. So, without further ado, follow me. To me. All right, we're just going this direction. Hug, low block. Hug, chop. Take that leg underneath. Side kick for everybody, unless you're a black belt, you get a twist kick. Go for it. Land back arm punch. We're gonna hug, low block. Hug, chop, side kick or twist kick, door kick, I'm gonna do a twist kick this time. Land, punch. Prepare behind my ear, inner knife hand. Step, inner knife hand. Reach and grab, take that leg behind you. Hi-ya! All right, we're doing your knee strike. Now we're going into section two. Remember, you would still be behind me, so I'm gonna to go towards the camera. But you guys can technically just listen to my voice as you move away from the TV. Here we go. Low block, 
Palm strike. Back leg does either a front kick, axe kick, or front kick, axe kick. Black belts get both. Brown and red belts get just the axe kick. Everybody else gets the back leg front kick. Do your kick. Land low block. Palm strike. Your kick, whether it's a front kick, axe kick, or both. Land punch. Jump switch punch. Reach out knee strike. Again, you shouldn't be like looking at me as you do this. You should be face away from me. Knee strike. Hi -ya! Now you should be able to see me as I turn away from the screen as I step out into section three. Low block. My people that have section three are blue belts and above in the fusion impact class um, and brown belts and above in the warrior kids class. If that doesn't apply to you, do not listen. Again, it's low block. Double round kick, unless you're a black belt, there's triple round kick. Everybody get your round kicks in. Blue belts and purple belts across all ages, reverse elbow. Uh, brown and red belts, you guys have a spin crescent kick. Black belts, you guys have a jump spin crescent kick. Take that back leg, jump spin crescent kick. And then everybody, like the blue belts, reverse elbow. We're all going to swing back. Low block, repeat, double round kick or triple for black belt. Spin crest kick or no spin crest kick for your guys' ranks. Go for it. Reverse elbow. From here, we go towards the front. We're doing a hop round kick for blue belts, purple belts, uh, brown belts, and red belts. Hop towards the back of the room, front of the room. The left hand. Black belts, you either drop to the ground, then hop up. Dual knife hands, so hop right around. And that is the form for everybody. One more time, let's go through all that again. I will probably just session one and two this time. Here we go. Face front, can they bow? To me. Hug, low block. Hug, chop. Nearest leg with a twist kick or a side kick. Land punch. Hug, low block. Hug, chuck, twist to your side kick, land punch. Inner knife hand, I didn't step. Now I step, inner knife hand, reaching grab, hi -ya! Going away from me, as I am behind you now, step out, low block, palm strike, front kick, axe kick, or both, land low block on that side. That's one of the trickiest things. As you land that leg forward, you low block over top of it. Palm strike, back leg is a front kick, axe kick, or both. Punch, jump, switch punch, reach and grab, hi-ya! Fantastic. All right, great job with everybody. Uh, that was section one and two, and then we do have section three for some of you guys. I recommend getting those videos out for section three, because you guys, <laughs> section three is like four different things for many different belts, and it's hard to teach these for everybody videos. <laughs> All right. Great job with your guys' form so far. I highly recommend that if you need some more time, pause this video, do your form two or three times. Repetition is really gonna make that practice makes perfect. We all have heard that saying, it's annoying at this point. Um, but it is true. That's why we have so often in class, do your form for three minutes and just get used to it. It's hard to mess up something that you do over and over and over again. I challenge you guys to do your form a few times, pause the video, I'll, I'll keep moving on. But pause the video, do your form four times, four times then hop back in here with me, okay? Okay. I'm getting the bag back out because I want to talk about board breaking techniques. And while making the bag shake and move around is not necessarily an important skill to have, it is important to know uh, that your technique matters when it comes to these moves. I highly hope that you guys have somebody that can either one, hold a board for you, that you guys may have or bought at home. Not everybody has this, of course. Or maybe they can hold like a pillow for you. Uh, those rectangular pillows that everybody has in their bed, those are a great example because somebody can hold the sides of it and you can kick the middle of it. Put some socks on first though, because it's gonna be gross. All right, and as long as you can knock out of their hands every single time, you're good. If you find that they're holding onto that pillow and you're kicking it and you're bouncing back, um, you're not kicking it in the correct way. See, we want to have you guys push through it. Now again, they could be like wrapping their entire like fingers in and holding them to dear life and they have like, you know, it's like your dad doing it and they have huge hands. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But for the most part, it should be able to slip right out of their hands at least one side. Here's some things to focus on. 
You guys have different board breaking moves for different levels. If you are an orange belt, you don't have to break a board. If you are a green belt, you have to do a kick of your choice. If you're a blue belt, you have a hand to give your choice. And as we go up in ranks, you have different things for all of you. For example, the purple belts have both of those. For a uh, brown belt, you have just hand techniques for one level. Seniors have something different. It gets complicated as it goes on, and we will, of course, be letting you guys know in classes and stuff like that. Um, so, with that in mind, take the board breaking move that you want to do. We're going to do one of each today. We're going to do a kick and a hand technique. And we're going to focus on how to make it as perfect as possible without even touching a board. So by the time we get to touch a board, all we have to work on is hitting it. Okay? I'm going to use my bag as a visual reference. You do not need a bag at all. Uh, let's start with the back lift. Or we'll do a side kick because the side kick is what a lot of you guys are going to be doing. Um, we did it so much the cycle as a side kick. Um, with that side kick in mind, I do not want to do step behind side kick. Can you do step behind side kick? Sure. We're not doing that today though. Um, when it comes to board and testing, go ahead. We're going to be close to the bag that we can hit with the heel of our foot on the exact target we need. Um, the heel of the foot is, of course, if I lift the ball, my toes off the ground, I'm on my heel. I know it's a lot of talking. I apologize, guys. Take that closest leg, lift that knee up, push just your heel into the bag, target, pillow, whatever that's going to be for you. Um, you do not need to hit with your entire foot. It wastes um, the uh, energy that's coming out of the... Like, the um, Sorry, the energy that's coming from your, your move, your power, um, and waste it. When you adjust your heel, it all focuses on one little area and breaks the board in half, right? Or makes the bag move, okay? Um, so again, I'm gonna be lifting my knee towards you guys, but I kick off to the side here. My heel only is pushing into the back. Is it the end of the world if I hit with my entire foot? No, but again, do we want a good kick or do we want an all right kick? We want the good kicks. All right, let's go to work on some side kicks, hitting your pillow, hitting a couch, hitting a tree in the backyard, hitting a board that somebody's holding for you, hitting a bag. I don't know what you have available to you, uh, but hitting those objects and things, hit with your heel, don't break the tree, okay? Those things are expensive to get you know, removed. Okay, take those knees, let's get a few side kicks, go for it. Switching sides every single time. As you guys kick, I want to talk for a minute. Keep kicking them, keep kicking them. What I want you guys to realize is that we never use words like hitting hard, but you guys have to be hitting with intention and purpose as you guys kick these things. There's no such thing where you break a board while standing 10 feet away. There's no such thing as breaking a board where you hit as if you were, you know, petting a, a, a puppy, okay? We have to, I mean, we have to hit hard. We have to push in and strike it. Um, Cobra Kai, <laughs> strike first, strike hard, okay, no mercy. We want to make sure that it's not just about getting to the bag and that's it. It's not tapping it, all right? Half the thing is that you are able to follow through with your move. When it comes to my punch, for example, this shoulder has to not just meet it. My shoulder has to push into it. My shoulder did something. I know it looks like I'm dancing right now, but that was not intentional. All right, go ahead and stop your sidekicks. You may have already stopped because my conversation was just so thrilling. But let's work on the elbow strike, okay? Um, I think it's actually it's a palm strike this time. Uh, let's do palm strike instead. So with a palm strike, I like to start with it upside down on my belt here with my knuckles sort of grazing it. If, I don't know, you guys can't really hear the audio, but I'm not touching the back. Now I am. You want your knuckles just barely on it. That's a reminder that if this hand can touch it, I'm sure this hand can touch it because what's changing? My shoulder's pushing forward, okay? As I say right here, you guys can see my entire torso. That's because my body's turned to the side. When I'm right here, I need to make sure that this shoulder goes into it as well. Again, it's not about just high five in the bag. As I take this palm strike in, I'm twisting it up. All right, it goes from fingers down, fingers on top. As I do that, my shoulder goes forward to push into the back. To push into the back. You guys see that little extra part right there? That's where I straighten out my arm. Importantly, let me get close for you guys here. Look, I have to do this every class. We're not hitting with the entire palm. We're hitting with this bottom part right here. That is a palm strike right there. I'm not high-fiving. My fingers never have touched because of how we're doing this. It's upside down, I twist in, and I push the shoulder forward while I straighten out my arm. It adds a lot of success to break through these moves. 
The last thing to remember is to help that shoulder go forward. This one that was already here, as you pull this back, this can't stay back as well. You can't both pull back. As my other arm pulls back, this one instinctively must move forward. Please, if you're not already, work on some palm strengths. This is a great one to do in the air as well. Don't be afraid to twist and throw your body into it, okay? You only look weird if you don't break a board. I'm purposefully pushing myself farther, positioning myself farther into the bag, but I don't need to break right through it. All right, last up. Great job with your guys' board breaking moves. Guys, please make it into a class. Um, I, I understand being online only, but we are, we are definitely following all the, the guidelines here. Come in, break a board. Let us make sure your form's all right. Set up a private lesson, whatever it needs to be. Come in so the instructor can personally verify that you guys look awesome. That is important to us. I don't want you guys to uh, mess up a testing because it was just never, you guys always heard the wrong thing um, because of how we explained it or something like that, okay? Uh, that's why I've been having a few other instructors come in here and teach these online classes as well because I want to make sure you guys get it from all kinds of different angles. Because maybe I'm not explaining something that Mr. Jaley's doing better or Mr. Coble's doing better or Mr. Rashad's saying it correctly, all right? We all have different talents. So, last up, let's finish with some, some excuse me, some self-defense. Taking that leading arm, if we're punching the leading arm, it is called a jab. We're gonna need a double jab, jab, jab. As we do that, our, our back arm's getting ready to do this elbow strike. I'm seeing a lot of people do this. They, they go all the way past it and then hit it, okay? Guys, and then elbow strike, we hit it right here, right underneath like where my tattoo is. All right, this, this empty area right here. We're hitting in right there to get this elbow strike. So take that leading arm, jab, jab, that back arm, comes in elbow strength. Um, you may have realized something very similar when we just did the board breaking. As I'm going leading arm, leading arm, this arm's done. So what can I do to help this arm? As I pull it back, I send this arm forward, and I swing it back. Don't be afraid to hit stuff hard. It only makes you look cool. <laughs> jab, jab, elbow strength. Let's also talk about the purpose of this. This is a self-defense move. This is when you catch the bad guy slipping. All right, you, they grabbed onto you, you released yourself, they're standing right in front of you. I mean, they're like, wait, did you just let go? Like, did you break out of my grip? Yeah, I did. Jab, jab, elbow strike, and there's three reasons why you don't touch me again, all right? So as we do this, remember, we're hitting the bag, we're hitting a, a partner, all right, with purpose. We're coming to the bag, jab, jab, elbow, switch sides, jab, jab, switch arms, elbow strike, into the bag there. All right, swing the baseball bat. If you're not already, go through it. Switch sides as commonly as you can. Go, go, go. I know I'm talking a lot today, but I want to make sure we have all the information out there. Jab, jab, elbow. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Jab, jab, elbow. Switch sides. Jab, jab, elbow. Okay. Last one is a bonus one. Black belts, I need you to follow this one. Everybody else, let's do it for fun. Hands are up. I'm leading with this front arm. I'm going across their face, back fist, back arm, punch. The first arm that did me, the other arm, blocks across my face, back fist. The idea is, is we caught somebody off guard. We smacked them twice. They came flying at us with a punch. We blocked their punch, back fist. One more time as a reminder. Restart. With me, front arm, back fist, back arm, punch. Front arm, outside block, same arm, front arm, back fist again. You know, we're not using that, we're only using this back arm twice. When I switch sides and created the front arm, then I use it a lot more. On your own, go ahead. Back fist, punch, block, back fist. I switch sides. Back fist, punch, block, back fist. I switch sides. Back fist, punch, block, back fist. I switch sides. Back fist, punch, block, back fist. All right, everyone. It was a pleasure working with you guys. Again, I highly encourage you guys stop in for at least one or two classes before testing happens so I can make sure that you got all of us 
can make sure you guys are on the right track. With that said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week, and I'm excited to see you guys at testing. It's me, Can I Bow. Have a good one. Cool YouTube outro. Bow, 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 bow.